Here's a riddle. What goes together like a kite, drinks water like a fish, and plays really, really well with hogs? Inventor Tom Spigo has the answer. I'm Sally Dominguez, and I'm here with Tom to talk about his invention, the rain saucer. Tom's designed something and actually realised something that a lot of people have been talking about for a long time, and that is a way to catch rainwater without having a roof. So here's Tom. Mm -hmm. Hi Tom. Hello, how are and you? And let's have a look at this saucer. I'm going to hold it up. Okay. Now tell me, how did you come up with this? Right, so um, when I first heard about the idea of rainwater harvesting, I thought, what a, what a great idea. Uh, but then when I realized that not that many people were doing it worldwide, I thought, well, why is that? Yeah. And the conclusion I came to was that rainwater harvesting, although it's great, uh, it's a little bit complicated and yeah. it relies on roofs. And so yeah. the beauty of this material is it's food grade. So yes. a lot of roofs are dirty or yes. they've got bird poop right. or they're asbestos. Right. And you've taken away all the drama exactly. by just it's a making food grade plastic. It, it's this, this is the same material that you make uh, plastic dishes out. We are going to get this rain saucer and pop it on top of a hog because a hog is also food grade. means that we're now going to have an autonomous source of drinking water. It comes from the sky flows down the food grade plastic of the rain saucer into the food grade plastic of the hog. It's probably going to be cleaner water than a lot of the stuff that you're getting out of your tap. So we'll see how we go. Hog CEO Simon Dominguez helps Tom position the rain saucer over the top of the hog, tighten the strings, set it up, and now if you're wondering how much water the saucer can catch, here's Tom with the answer. That looks great. One inch of rain will generate uh, 6.75 gallons of water. Install the rain saucer on top of the hog. The whole kit is uh, food grade plastic. And ideally what you could do at the bottom is, I mean it's great for vegetables, but imagine if this was in the middle of a national park and you put this little cool drinking fountain fitting on the bottom of it and then with just gravity flow, you could fill up your drink bottle in the middle of a national park where there are no roofs. So I think, Tom, the possibilities for this are massive. Exactly. Wherever there's a need for water, there's a need for a system like this. And Fantastic. that's the promise of rain saucers. Nice job, Tom. Thank you. That's what I didn't do for the Cambodia. So there you have it. No longer do you have to connect your roof all the way across the garden over to where you want to store your rainwater. With rain saucer, you can collect the rain exactly where it falls and store it and use it without the need for costly pipes. What a terrific system.